Hello everybody and welcome to a new Roos replay cast. A long time ago since I casted a game in English, but uh, now there's time or now there is the now I have a replay I I have to cast in English because I think Home Grenade isn't a German subscriber and he wants to see what I have to say about this uh, replay or this game. And so for the audience from yeah, the other English speaking people, uh, a new replay, yay! And yeah, what I have to say is that this replay is or have to be awesome, or got to be, will be awesome, because there are, uh, yeah, Wolfie, one of the best of the Rus community, and No Unit Palm Grenade, another one of the best, uh, another one from the, yeah. I see that it's a long time ago since I casted a game in English. I have lacks of English grammar and words. But no matter uh, what I say here, I have to cast. No, I have to, I want to. So, yeah, where did I stop? Uh, there are two of the best players in the Roos community. Well, I think it's gonna be an awesome game because. Uh, or gonna be interesting also because. Uh, Home Grenade's playing as Italian and both is playing as the British Empire or UK United Kingdom. And because I think Home Grenade is is able to to dodge his uh, carrier M15 or his tanks at all, and it, this is a bit uh, yeah is a bit not easy. Difficult, a bit more difficult for Wolfie to play with air uh, hurricane versus tanks. So I think he is trying to uh, play more with AT and infantry. And I think, or well, I want to know how he uh, how he uh, decides in case of his lack of uh, reconnaissance ability. So I talk too much now. So let's start the game. And let's see what Wolfie is doing first. Uh, mini trucks, mini trucks. One, two, three, four. An airfield. Okay, an airfield. Uh, well, this can be bad. Boom grenade is starting also with an airfield. Okay. I don't know really why he's doing this, cause Zeta versus fires not so good. But this airfield is good to prevent and rush. Uh, from Wolfie, like this one, like a little power rush, because little power rush uh, can do a lot of damage to the economy, can force the enemy to uh, spend a lot of money to defend from. And uh, one to two depots, one barracks, and he cancelled the third depot. Uh, yeah, Black did the same. He built two depots, the airfield, but no barracks at the moment. So. He uh, used his money to to play aggressive with his uh, air transport or the paratrooper within, and let's see if it can pay off. I think he is maneuvering around a bit because he sees that in the airfield there's no no real uh, yeah no red lights are blinking, so no airplane is in production, and I think he also can assume that. This airfield may be fake, but now we see some red lights blinking there. So I think he's gonna drop his para somewhere in the woods because there's no reconnaissance at the moment from Pum Grenade. Yeah, there's the setter. Go setter, go. Attack setter. Uh, setter isn't attacking. No, setter's not attacking. Or at least he's deploying the air while. Uh, yeah. Well, he already built the AT base versus the uh, Cairo M11 just to protect him from the push to avoid the damage and yeah he also has to spend more money than he wants to with this 2 Cairo M11 the same thing that Wolfie well, tried to do with his paratrooper yeah problem for this little guy is here that there's reconnaissance in the forest so the Cairo Larger is able to shoot through the woods and massacre this little paratrooper. Uh, I think he's trying to attack the carriage with his split 
fighters. No, we didn't. Okay. Uh, yeah. One of the M11 was destroyed by the AT gun here, and another one is chasing the another uh, carrier M11. We have to build a third AT gun to protect this depot here. Uh, really good. Yeah, uh, really good move. Really good move to force him to yeah, to build some AT guns. And we already take Spitfires, while bomb grenade is still on the Zeta. Uh, it's also yeah. Uh, kind of spend more money, or of the strategy spend more money uh, less. Or what can I? How can I call the strategy? Force enemy to spend more money for defense than you for aggression or something else. And because that cost uh, twenty dollars, I think, and the paratrooper cost fifteen dollar. So you got an advantage of five dollar now. Uh, if I can assume the M11 barracks, I think it paid off because um, yeah, five dollar for Wolfie and no, not five, twenty uh, ten dollar for Wolfie for this push, and he has to build yeah, twenty for the barracks less. Uh, okay. I don't want to calculate here. I want to commentate the action. So right now he has four spitfires up in the air. While pump grenade is, I think he's still taking the belt ropes. Oh no, he already attacked it. There, there is uh, one of them. And the problem is that the Italian tech uh, really take a long time to to, accom uh, to, to accomplish. Yeah. Uh, bad thing here. The AT gun is in range of the MG. He has to. Oh, he nicely maneuvers his carry uh, M11 in the in the forest here. But now he has to be careful, cause this AT gun. Oh, before before it can target the carry M11, he's shooting on the AT gun. But yeah, now he gets a crucial hit, and this carry M11 is down. Uh, even with old fanatism, uh, what is uh, really unusual, because most of the players use fanatism in this situation um, to uh, on their AT guns or on their tanks to to uh, to attack or to to survive with his units. Only uh, really maneuvered well here because he uh, parked his. Uh, Carry M11 in this little gap here and pulled it out to attack. And before the uh, AT gun has settled up at his position, he maneuvered him back in this gap. Uh, he, attacked, uh, he built now four belt rows and some fake planes. More, yeah, four belt rows and one setter, I think. Can't see it really very well because the on radio silence. They are in the hangar yes. So, and now he's starting his Veltros all at once. No. Just one. Just one and some fakes. Uh, he know. I think he wanted, tr he wanted to trigger Wolfie to attack the true Veltro, so his Veltros can attack after that the Spitfires. And is, I think it. Uh, Hit target, hit goal. I want to affect that uh, with his fake planes that the Spitfires are targeting on the um, yeah fake planes and recycle them. So they are shoot out of ammunition or out of ammunition, and the Veltro can can destroy them in the air because they can't defend anymore. Uh, what's Wolfie doing here? Oh, he's Placing or building his second airfield, he's trying to to get the upper hand in the air fight, which is a good strategy if you ask me, because he has the better planes in coast efficiency, and he also got good bombers, uh, a recon, and 
yeah, a good defense of his base here. But he has to be careful because I think I. Mm, what's this track here going? Barracks. Yeah, because I think. Yeah. Uh, there's the barracks here. I uh, he can do a lot of damage here with his barracks if he sneaks around or if he can sneak the barracks uh, under camouflage net in his base maybe. Because he haven't any recons here. Uh, he's also securing the cities with the Carol Lodger and the Carol M11, which are pretty vulnerable uh, in the city spots here. To inf, but well, he haven't seen any inf mm, from Wolfie, so I think he's he's just trying to be sure that. Uh, That uh, that no drug is no drug. Marijuana. That no drug is um, coming through the city. So now he starts all of his planes and one is already out of ammunition. I think he this one was unluckily targeted with an world room. But look at this mass of Spitfires. I think there are at least uh, I can't do the thing I would do in the real game. Because the problem of the replay, replay function is that you can't uh, make uh, this one here with left click and then pull it and then you have a, a number of units. But as you can see at the points that Bomb Grenade, I think he just destroyed one Spitfire, while Wolfie destroyed around six, uh, four or three I think, or more even. But he has to be careful now, cause a lot of infantry is coming out of his barracks here. Uh, he is building uh, two more rickers to protect from the little infantry. Well, not a little, it's a really strong infantry push here. Uh, kind of a commitment if he doesn't deal any damage. I think he's, he's losing this game, cause uh, Wolfie has the upper hand in the air. Is also building a lot of Kara M11 here. The infantry is trying to sneak around at this area. Bam! Death. Yeah, this one got surprised, but sexed. And yeah, really good idea here from Wolfie to to attack into this bottleneck here because all of the infantry are stuck at this little, uh, at this little street here and they can fire and deal his damage very well together because. Oh, unluckily for him, the Carrier M11 are shooting on a depot here and the Dignitary are attacking this one. This could be very bad or could end very bad for Wolfie here if he loses his depots and the Carrier M11 can. I think they can attack forward so we can destroy the barracks and overwhelm the AT here. Cause there's not that much AT in this area. Just around, yeah, three AT guns. Uh, yeah, I just see Ensign above the city, so I think there's no chance for the Camo M11 to push through here. Uh, they can't attack uh, this AT gun because he's really hidden very well uh, in the woods. From this side, they can't attack, and from this side, they have a long way to attack too. Um, but I think, well, I'm not sure if this is positioned uh, very well. He can, if he's hmm. okay. I don't want to complain about this game. It's really, really good until now. Yeah. <laughs> Carry M11 are parking in the city. Can't do anything here because the AT is just waiting to deal her damage on the M11. Yeah. Let's see what he's trying to do. Maybe he's. Uh, raiding them one by another with the uh, Riven Hurricane. Well, he first destroyed the barracks here. Uh, important f uh, for him, so he uh, grenade can't produce any more uh, badge. Yeah, what did I say? They can't really move out of the city because even two AT guns deal a lot of damage to the Car M11. One, two, three, four, four or five tanks died here in the AT uh, salvages. 
uh, problem for Bomb Grenade is now that you haven't got any air that can defend with the bombing attacks, the bombing runs and can deal with the Spitfire Armada. Uh, he's attacking the one, he gets one AT gun but the other one could be defend by the out defended by the outpost and by the Rickers. Well, paratrooper here, the coast efficiency method to destroy the depot. Ah, defense went really bad. Even the world throws got destroyed at the ground and now the bomber is coming. And well, this game is over. Didn't have any any yeah bomb grenade surrenders. Mm, causing his airfield was destroyed and his uh, Air Force again. So what you can see here is that Black Dell uh, killed a lot of damage with his Air Force. A uh, really good use of them. Uh, he used the advantage of the coast for the Spitfire versus the uh, World Shows very well. Uh, I think Home Grenade's uh, opening with an airfield was um, well not that bad for pre preventing or pretending preventing preventing an early aggression but it was a high a too high commitment to uh, force or to to push on Wolfie after that so um, Wolfie can can make use of his uh, better air force and had or defended this uh, infantry and cover M11 push very well uh, he didn't make that much damage with his uh, infantry and Karim Elf, Karo M11, so I think uh, this little push didn't pay off at all. You see, at the last, as you can see, uh, he lost a lot of buildings, the barracks, the airfield, well, uh, the depots, and so on. And yeah, his infantry, infantry, oh, even the Karo M11 tanks count to infantry at the loss. Uh, Oh, I think the units out from the barracks or the AT base or armor base are counted here. Well, even the Air Force was completely destroyed, I think. 302 losses, I think. What did he. Uh, just 20 kills. They didn't pay off at all. Well, I think it was devastated all in all with the Air Force from Black. Um, it wasn't the cleverest move to. Uh, to try and uh, fight with the Brit, so, but all in all, I have to say it was a really good game, really tactical, and it showed the class of those uh, those two peoples. And if you like this game, leave a comment, a like, or a subscription. And if you're still a subscriber, feel free to um, say to anyone you know who plays Roos what we do here on our channel. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.